Hello my friends, my name is LazyJet and welcome back to this week's episode of my Hornby Review. In this week's episode, you can tell by the picture behind me, we will be reviewing the one and only Duchess of Hamilton. The Duchess of Hamilton model that I actually have is actually a special model because I actually bought it uh, three days before Christmas Eve. And it was a it was it was a Christmas present to myself. Oh, it was an early Christmas present to myself. But I bought it as I said three days before Christmas Eve, and I thought it would be in a marvelous uh, addition to my train Hornby collection. But I have customized it a bit. I have given it a paint job where it, the paint looks like it's more uh, like shinier, so it looks more more realistic. Because actually, if you look in the picture behind me, you can actually see that the Duchess of Hamilton is actually quite shiny. So. In my model, I decided to actually give it that shiny look effect, so I thought it would look, it would make it look more realistic. I mean, I didn't do the best job, but I did the, I did the best I could. So let's get the Duchess of Hamilton moving by giving a little bit of power. There we go, off she goes. And on the other track, we have the Southwest trains or the Southwestern trains because they sort of changed it now weirdly. Uh, the class four fifty. So Duchess of Hamilton, number 6229, uh, was built in 1938, uh, apparently at Crewe, if, I, if, if I'm not mistaken. I'm actually reading this off Wikipedia as we actually, as, I, as I'm making this video right now, I'm actually reading it off Wikipedia. Because I, I need to let you guys know that I don't know anything about the Duchess of Hamilton at all. Well, actually, I don't really know anything about any steam engines. I don't know any history about them. I, all I do know is, the only history I know is actually the Mallard. That's the only one I know. So if I'm a bit rusty or a bit, you know, if I get anything wrong uh, when I give you guys the information about the of Hamilton or any engine I review, I deeply apologise if I get anything wrong. So the Duchess of Hamilton is actually a streamliner. Uh, it was designed to, uh, for, to go for speed, but weirdly, it's not actually very speedy on my train simulator videos, as we, as we demonstrated before. Uh, that didn't go very well on my uh, train simulator races. Um, but it was actually uh, put in the uh, National Rail Museum in New York on the 6th of June 2009. But I have to be honest, I did buy my Duchess of Hamilton Holby model for around about £89. And at first I was really excited, but now I'm a little bit regretting that because my Duchess of Hamilton is actually, well, when I bought it, it was actually slightly damaged um, because I accidentally did drop the box on my way home because I was on my bike and I went over a bump. So I think it's actually my fault that uh, the Duchess of Hamilton doesn't actually work properly because the front bogies on the actual loco uh, keep coming off the tracks. Uh, so I think I'm, I might have actually slightly, it was, it was nothing to do with Hornby or or the place I got it from, it was nothing to do with that. I think it was my fault that I um, accidentally dropped it on my way home and I might have slightly damaged the loco itself. And that was about um, probably almost a whole year now. So that was quite a long time ago. So after the whole time I've had it, it actually has never worked properly, which I'm a bit, I'm a bit disappointed in that. I'm disappointed in myself. So it's actually nothing to do with the place I got it from or Hornby at all. It's actually my fault that the Dutch of Hamilton does not actually work on my Hornby track. But as I said, I have been repainting it myself. I hope you guys do like the uh, the new look that I've been given it. I mean, I don't know if you guys can actually see any difference because of the lighting, but I actually have been uh, repainting the Duchess of Hamilton. If you guys can see a difference, just let me know in the comment section below. But doesn't the Duchess look amazing? It's actually uh, the coronation class. I actually forgot to uh, mention it's actually a coronation class, my friends. I forgot to mention that um, in the uh, in the when I was reading out of how, when it was built. So I'll just let you guys know it's actually a coronation class, just to uh, let you all know. I'm not very good at these Hornby reviews, am I? I'm still a bit rusty because, as I said, I'm a tr I'm a train simulator reviewer, not a Hornby reviewer. I think I think I should leave the Hornby stuff uh, to Sam's trains, and I should just continue doing train simulators. It's the only thing I'm good at. But I love the Duchess of Hamilton so much. I love the shape of it. I like the streamline of it, and I really do like the tender. I like the way it's shaped, and I really love the livery of the Duchess of Hamilton. I like how it's red and it's got like nice gold uh, stripes on the side of the engine and on the tender. It, it's just so good looking and I, and I love it. I love the buffers as well and I think, I mean I'm going to show you guys a picture right now of the cab of the Duchess of Hamilton and I don't know about you guys but that is actually the best looking train cab I've ever seen in my life. Right, we're going to uncouple the coaches now and let the Duchess of Hamilton run for a bit just without any coaches because I think the coaches are sort of... Um, because, as I said, I mean, I accidentally damaged my model, so I'm actually going to uh, let the coaches uh, go and just let the engine run for a bit, just to run it in, to see if it would actually work without a without it actually derailing, or de without it derailing. You guys know what I mean. I need to get better at my speeches. I'm not very good at this. As I said, I mean, 
I try my best, but I think I should just leave the Hornby reviews to Sam's trains. Well, that's it for this video i'm afraid my friends i hope you guys did enjoy it uh let me know what engine you want me to review next uh put your answer in the comment section below and i'll be able to read that for you um but hope you guys again thank you so much for watching this uh review of well this week's review of my hornby uh setup uh i will be back next week on monday i hope you guys will uh, be patient and be amazing for wait for, for, for you to wait that long i mean i know it's it's a bit of a wait but um i hope you guys will uh, be patient but again thank you so much for watching this week week's episode of my home review and i'll see you guys again uh next week for another one so take care and i'll see you guys again next time goodbye